Yeah, it's it's a wonderful day every time I see Mr. Floppy going to roll. If you don't get that reference, go watch Saltburn, not with your parents around. But, you know, I can definitely just get really excited for this movie because he's going to be an awesome Joker. Let's get into this. So I was, you know, doing my, my usual thing, looking at all the recent movie news, seeing what closest to horror that I can make a video on. I know I do kind of want to do some other stuff than horror, but this is kind of close to horror, especially with the horrors that I've seen from this man. But, you know, so Barry Keoghan is going to return as the Joker in the Batman Part 2. Now, after watching him in... Well, of course, salt burn and um, some other stuff, you know. I've seen him in a few different things. You know, I've seen him in the Boundaries of Inner Sharon. He was pretty cool in that. I've seen him in the Batman Part 1. I don't know what to look. Oh, wait, I've, I've seen him in Eternals. He was okay in that. You know, I wouldn't say he had the best script to work with there. But I can definitely see this man really working as the Joker. Just because he's cool. He's creepy. And that makeup that they gave him in that movie, he works so well with that. And frankly, I think he will be a really cool younger version of the Joker. Bedlam and Suicide Squad <laughs> kill the Justice League younger Joker. I'll tell you that now. Like, Jesus Christ, who even is this thing? In that game, at least. Not, not here. He's pretty obviously the Joker in this. But, you know, this is this is kind of interesting. Like, I was my overall idea for what they're going to do with this map. What they're going to do is, they're not going to have him be the main villain, is my idea. They're going to have Mr. Free the Killer Frog or Clayface, like they really said. Then, he's going to, like, appear throughout the movie. Then maybe he'll, like, get a bunch of villains in Arkham Asylum, and then they're all going to go beat up Batman. And <laughs> they're all going to beat up Batman in the last movie. Then he's going to send them all back to jail. Or he'll end with them teaming up. Or, I don't know, he'll just kill him. Which, frankly, you know, I think Barry Keoghan will play a really cool Joker. I just think he has got to work a bit more on ye old Joker voice because he did kind of just sound exactly like himself in the first movie. Not that there's anything wrong with that. He He's pretty cool, but he didn't sound like the Joker. He just sounded like young Irishman. And that's not really the Joker, is it? Because the Joker is supposed to be like this creepy dude no one knows anything about. He's not really got any history. And he did do a really cool job with him in that movie. But I'd love to see what he does next. What do you guys think? Do you want him back as a Joker? Do you want him as a main villain for a movie? Or do you want him as a side villain? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye-bye.